In this video, we'll look at how Vespa redistributes documents in a dynamic system when the node count changes. We'll look at document distribution, distribution using the ideal state algorithm. We'll look at what happens when you add capacity to a system and what happens when node fail. But first, a quick note on documents and buckets. A document by its document ID is mapped to a bucket using a hashing function. Note that bucket is an abstraction. Documents are not stored per bucket within Vespa. A bucket has maximum 1k documents and Vespa manages documents using buckets. Vespa content nodes can have billions of documents and hence millions of buckets. Think of buckets as micro shards. There are potentially millions of buckets and buckets are created dynamically. In this video, we'll look at how buckets of documents migrate between nodes as the node count changes. You'll find all the links and commands used at vespa.ai slash resources, so you can replay the experiment yourself. So let's get started. For this demo, I have set up a three node cluster using the monitoring quick start guide. I have fed 60,000 documents, that is 20,000 unique per node or 40,000 total per node with redundancy two. Now let's add the fourth node and deploy the changes. With an extra node, we expect Vespa to automatically rebalance documents, meaning put some of the bucket replicas on the new node. While we're waiting for the buckets to move, let's find the cluster controller status page, which is very useful to track the state of the cluster. We see distributor and storage functions. A distributor will manage its share of the buckets, and the storage function will persist it. The ideal state algorithm maps the buckets to the content node. Let's have an example. A bucket will map, uh, a document will map to the bucket, which is the number you see to the left, which is uh, seeded into a random generator. And the first number drawn is the number uh, for node zero, which is 0.228 here. And the next is for node one and so on. So we will draw a random number for all the nodes in the cluster per bucket. Then we sort the list in a descending order. Uh, so we will have a node list sorted per bucket. So in this example, we see that node one has the highest number and then node three. And so node zero and node two, the first two nodes will store a copy of a replica of the bucket. So we can see that from the document ID, we generate the bucket ID and we get a list of nodes. And this is stable for this combination. Refreshing the cluster controller status page, we now see the four nodes in the system. And we should see the number of documents decreasing per node as we added the four node. And the data is already redistributed to the new node. That was a planned change to the system, adding a node for more capacity. Note that the only thing I did was deploying a config change. The rest was automatic. Now let's do an unplanned change. Let's kill a node. Let's look into what we expect to happen. In this view, I have three example buckets. The topmost one has a replica on node zero and node one. And I just killed node two, so there is no change to this bucket. The second bucket in the middle has a replica on node two and node zero. And node two is dead. So the cluster will now create a replica on node zero from node, uh, sorry, from node um, on node one from node zero. 
The third bucket at the bottom has a replica on node 2, which is the second one in the sequence. So it will create a replica on node 1 from node 3. And we see that uh, the nodes are uh, now uh, recreating replicas on the graphs. Let's see, review uh, some of the config changes I made for this demo. Normally in a cluster with millions of documents, this uh, replication of buckets will take some time, could be minutes or hours, depending on the size. And with this list, uh, with so little data for this demo, I just tuned the system to be a bit slower. In this demo, we also run with one cluster controller. The normal uh, setup is having three. And we see that the cluster is now very close to having uh, regenerated uh, the redundancy level of, on all nodes. Let's review. In this video, we have observed automatic bucket migration both for planned and unplanned changes. We have used the cluster controller status page and we have learned how the ideal state algorithmic bucket distribution works. Find all the commands and links used in these experiments at the resource site. Good luck!